All right, let's see what kind of security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks, which are locked and powered down. Need a new power source, like that giant spinning mobile. Yeah, this'll work. webs won't reach. Conducted. Oh, this is gonna work. That's one. Feeling good. This is working. A couple more. Gotta be behind all that. One more. Can't believe how well this is working. Grounds toys. Winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. <sighs> the exhibit was down that hall. Underground cash.
She's got to be with our project, down that hall. I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign, like real scientists. Today, Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. Didn't you used to date a marine biologist? Algae farms are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. <laughs> Ugh, I hate kale. More than screenwriters do. I'll have you know I'm also very good at fixing our office copy. When's Rick gonna get here? He just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Since the mid 20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday you might see the brightly striped clownfish, or even the menacing anglerfish. I'm naming that one Howard. You name one. Uh, Leviathan. Love it! The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today, suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What, you scared? Of sharks, the dark, tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. Let's go to the main hall. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Using a shape memory alloy, or memory metal, 
Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery, and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out. Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the red planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Ooh, we gotta play. Oh, come on, it's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Welcome to the Oscar Never. Gotcha. Found something I'm better at than you. Not for long. <laughs> Come on. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. This game was made for me. Two wins does not a master make. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Up, 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 up. Go, oh, go, 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 go! Faster! Come on! <laughs> That's a win for me. No way! That did not just happen! <laughs> Third time's a charm. The museum's gonna close and you'll still be playing that thing. Okay, okay. I'm done. Scans for minerals, carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> Solar energy, already popular on Earth, could provide heat and electricity for space stations, shuttles, and extraterrestrial settlements. These Oscorp stickers show how flexible and affordable solar cells can be. Go on, take a sticker. Ooh, adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. Would you ever move to space? You know, if you could. I would. Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. 
They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work. They won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean change its shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. Welcome to the Oscorp Science Center. We're tomorrow. This innovation is a disease. Oh, hey, look. Solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light-sensitive lock. Now we need something we could slide under the door. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. Think it's a meta material? Must be. Wonder if it's using a phononic band cap. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I'll attach the sticker. Let's get that door open. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. I couldn't do this without you. We should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lunch break. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take the afternoon off. It's an emergency. Again? Peter, is something bigger going on? Perhaps at home? This is either genius or really, really stupid. If we open our own research lab someday, that's what I'm naming it. Genius or really, really stupid? For all your R&D needs. I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad, bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Nuclear energy is the key to our future as we explore interstellar space. Fuel efficiency and transportation will be vital components in reaching and settling planets at the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Oscorp nuclear reactor. Rick's working on something that's supposed to make nuclear energy obsolete. Do we get to know what it is? Nope. Roxxon's keeping it super secret. Oh, crap. This engine used in the Apollo space program is one of the most powerful inventions that uses liquid fuel. Today, Oscorp is building on that technology to maximize fuel efficiency, making deep space exploration possible. 
The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. You ready to go? Not yet. I still haven't read everything. Are you? I'm a little tired and my feet are sore. Give me 15 minutes and then we One go. of humanity's no greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16, 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. The Oscorp Science Station, positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station. Project. Oh, ho, ho, wee! Would you look at that? Genuine award winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, huddle up. We need a and two. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that.
Harlem are blocked. Who are you? Near your apartment, trying to find shelter. Get to Dale Bodega. I'll be there soon. We'll keep everyone safe as long as we can. We gotta take care of them before I head back to Harlem. Show you what we can do. to get to Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. <laughs> Genki, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Matt, rocks on an underground are all over it. Where are you? Genki! <laughs> if you can hear me, I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please! I've never seen a storm this bad. Genki, can you hear me? Genki! Hang on, guys. I'm coming. Okay, be safe. Barbershop look okay. But I need to push the fighting away from here. Mila! Are you with Caleb? Are you okay? See, we're with Gloria, but the kid. This is bad. It's the price to fall over again. It won't get that far. I won't let it. Keep your heads down till I secure the streets.
didn't go. Where are you, Miles? Near 125th. Looking for my mom. Word is new Spider-Man on the case. He'll protect them. You protect yourself, okay? Get out of there. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave it to him. Stay safe, Gloria. You too, kid. Get out of here! Make a break for it? Who's that? Someone there? Guys! Guys! Listen, hey! We need to get out of here. But I can only carry some of you. What? Oh, she started already. Get out of here, young blood! Whoa. You've got more important things to do. He's right. Go. We'll get people clear. I'll be back. I know. Okay, people! Every door. We don't leave anyone behind. No. <laughs> Change the specs. You're not just gonna destroy Rockstar Plaza. You're gonna vaporize all of Harlem. I'm not gonna let you lie to me again! You're too late.
let you do this. I can't let you stop me. Don't you see what the reactor's doing? Destroying the plaza! Tearing down Krieger's monument! If the plaza melts down, it'll take Harlem with it! Who fed you that? Krieger? I ran the number! Till you do. That won't keep her locked down for long. Not gonna let you touch me with that. I don't want to fight. We'll talk after I disable the reactor. Yeah. <laughs> 
get them far away. I can't hold this in much longer. Get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. Did you see his face? You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? He's our Spider-Man. Come on, those are clearly deep fakes. They're deep fakes. You understand me? Do you have any idea who I am? I will own you. Yeah, I will yeah, we know who you are. Own you. Do you hear me? That's right, friends. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Davis, aka the Prowler, flipped on him and Roxxon. Davis will serve time, but could get a reduced sentence. I think we can all learn something from what happened in Harlem. Together, we're stronger. And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is, is where we pretty come great. From. Yeah, we Looking good, it. Haley. City on my back, I'm committed. This is where we come from. Yeah, we made it. Now the whole team celebrating. We like, uh oh, 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 oh. I'll see you around. Man, I still can't get over that suit. So cool. Gotta be me. Yeah, you do.
Pete, does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. Roxxon did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me. I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider-Man Oath. Go time? Go time. It really isn't no question Only super hills in a section Only big bangers on a set list On top of buildings where I eat breakfast Then I shine like a new necklace I'm ready to go, she calling my phone Girl, I'm coming over I got something to prove, I showed her the world Can't hold it no longer They think I'm way too young to Stand up for the ones I love But let me tell you something Just let the picture develop I got a, yeah Fly as a whip with propellers All of these villains are jealous Just cause I'm young and I'm careless Swing through the window what I entrance I'm ready to go, she calling my phone Girl, I'm coming over I got something to prove, I showed her the world Can't hold it no longer They think I'm way too young to Stand up for the ones I love But let me tell you something Checking a drip when I flip off the building, yeah. Vitals are good, circulatory system healthy, um, brain activity normal. He's been in there long enough. 
Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but his I disease could... Kurt. But we may be underestimating the potential danger... I said! Get him out! Now! Bye, Finn. Hey, Ma. You busy? Not too busy. What's going on? I just left Trinity Church. I was thinking about Finn. And... Tell me about it. She saved my life. And yours. Everybody's. But she's the one who put us in danger in the first place. After seeing what happened to Rick... I get why she did it. People are messy. Take your Uncle Aaron. He's the reason Krieger's in jail. And he helped us get people out of Harlem. But every time I look at him, I think of all the pain he put your dad through. Yeah. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, Miho. Or her death. Just remember who she was, and why you loved her. You always know what to say. <laughs> That's my job. Call me back if you need me. Entiende? Sí. Te quiero. 